After wearing Omega swatches for some time now, every single time I put one on, I am reminded again of how unsexy, uncomfortable, and weird the strap looks. Obviously, I'm not the only one with this complaint as there seems to be a whole new market emerging with third-party Omega strap alternatives uh, for people who are unsatisfied with the strap that comes directly from the factory. The strap is so uncomfortable that Daniel Craig even had to adjust it. That's James Bond. He gets shot at and he doesn't even flinch. This strap must be pretty irritating if he has to adjust it in a live event. While just playing around with it, I feel as if I've uh, figured out a uh, simple yet effective way to make your Omega Swatch strap look better um, and feel better. So let's get right into it. So as you guys can see, the strap is really weird. It has this big bulge or loop here, which just looks weird and it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like it was designed to feel this way. So the solution is really simple. It's basically taking the long strap and taking it from the 12 o'clock position to the 6 o'clock position and vice versa. I know this doesn't seem like a super complex fix, although after looking on Google for quite some time, I didn't find anybody who thought of this. The way I've been taught is that, you know, the best solution is sometimes the simplest and the cheapest, and this definitely, you know, goes with that motto. Alrighty, so let's get to it. So like I said, the watch originally comes like this, although we're going to change it so that it goes like this. Looking at the strap after the fix, it is just so much better. It's so much more seamless. It's so much more natural. It contours your wrist. It is one with your wrist. The bulge of the strap is no longer visible to you. Instead, it is hidden behind your wrist to where you can't see it. It is almost like Swatch designed it this way. If you look at it, Omega, the Omega logo, is pointing out towards people. Um, you know, you may have a Swatch on, but never forget that you have an Omega Swatch on. And it's important for people to see that Omega part. And I think that's what Swatch was thinking. Also, what Swatch did to begin with was weird. Normally, when comparing it to this 1957 Speedmaster, the longer part of the strap is always pointed down towards 6 o'clock. And that's what we did to fix the strap. We put the longer part on the Swatch down towards 6 o'clock. However, it did not come this way from the factory. It came with the longer part of the strap at 12 o'clock, which made it seem uncomfortable. So here's my mom's watch. Of course, you can see it's been worn. And she has the same complaint. It, the strap is just not natural and it doesn't feel good. Um, luckily enough, she has a great son who's going to fix it for her. Although, after we fix it, you can see that it's much more flush around the wrist, and it just looks sexier. Overall, I hope you learned from this video, and I hope that you too will change your Omega Swatch strap. In the spirit of the Moon Swatch, Buzz Aldrin once said, This is one small step for watches, and one large leap for watch kind. Until the next time, keep ticking. Bye-bye.